Hello friends, welcome to the e-lecture series on the smart grid. Unit number 1, module number 3, present development of the smart grid. I am Mr. Somnath Hadafe, working as assistant professor in electrical engineering department from Mathosri College of Engineering and Research Center, Nasik. The contents for this module are concept of resilience and self-healing grid, present development and international policies in smart grid, smart cities, pilot projects in India. Let's take a review of previous module. In previous module, we studied drivers of smart grid in India, functionalities and key components of smart grid, difference between conventional smart grid and the conventional grid, then smart grid vision and roadmap for the India. Now, first of all, the first point from this module is concept of self-healing grid. Under the smart grid environment, the grid will have the ability to heal itself. So this is achieved by continuously performing self-assessment to detect and analyze the status of grid and its components. Take corrective action to mitigate the effect of defective components and if needed, rapidly restore grid components or network sections. So it also have the capability to handle problems that are too large or too fast moving to handle by the human. Grid self healing is considered as grid immune system. It will help maintain grid reliability, security, affordability, power quality and efficiency. This will result in minimizing disruption of service. Self healing can be achieved by employing modern technologies that can acquire data, execute decision support algorithm, prevent or limit interruptions, dynamically control the flow of power and restore services quickly. For example, probabilistic risk assessment based on real-time measurement can be used to identify the equipment, power plant and lines most likely to fail. A second example, real-time contingency analysis can be used to determine overall grid health, trigger early warnings of trends that could result in grid failure and identify the need for immediate investigation and action. A third example is to use of communication system to communicate with local and remote devices to analyze faults, low voltage, poor power quality, overloads and other undesirable system conditions. Now, Based on these analyses, appropriate control actions will be taken automatically or manually as need determines. Next topic is concept of resilience grid. A system wide solution that ensures the reduction of physical and cyber vulnerabilities and enables a rapid recovery from disruption will be incorporated under the smart grid environment. This will result in the smart grid being resilience which will deter any attack that could be committed from even those who are determined and well equipped. However, its decentralized operating model and self-healing features will also make it less vulnerable to natural disasters than today's grid. Additionally, security protocols will be designed such that they will contain elements of deterrence, detection, response and mitigate to ensure minimizing the impact of grid and the economy. The particular characteristics of smart grid makes it less susceptible and more resilience which will in turn makes it a more difficult target for the terrorist. If we look at the present developments in smart grid and the projects from India. So here uh, we can see uh, this is the report from the uh, smart grid ministry uh, under the power minister of India that is research development demonstration and deployment projects into the India. So here is the completed projects then their name 
implemented institute where it is implemented then project investigator that under whom the work is being done so these projects are from iit delhi under the professor bhim singh all we know is a very famous author of power system so many big books he had written and the project title are analysis design and control of power electronic converters for smart grid interface for the solar generation investigation of solar based power converter control for grid integration so these two projects were covered in iit delhi similarly iit kanpur iit madras iit delhi under the various professors mishra dr mahesh kumar dr a l vyas so under them if you observe uh, here first of all mppt pv solar charger controller project is there another is active power filter project is there then the next one is the design and development of stand alone pv system at iit delhi so these were the projects then if we talk about the ongoing projects so this is the uh, development department of science and technology government of india under them they have published one report that is mission innovation for the smart grid so in that they publish this authenticated data research development demonstration and deployment projects in india so these projects are ongoing projects so here is the title of project is ultra fast simulation local dc grid dc grid control and protection now if we see the objective of this project is to investigate the mitigation of large energy deflects deficits through mobilizing mass local dc grid storage solution to provide necessary demand reduction demand shifting and demand switching to ensure supply reliability and also the innovations required in local dc grids so these are the uh, persons investigators who are investigating this project that is uh, of various professors from various institutes institutes that is iit rukri karakpur and the iit delhi and the project work is during the period of 14th november 2014 to 13th november 2017 so it will it, it is of uh, near about 3 years project and these are the achievements uh, during um, and after these are the achievements after completion of the projects that is network reduction and load flow analysis of indian transmission system impact of local distributed generation resources on transmission network with upscaling local dc sources investigated dc microgrid test bench is developed and control techniques for grid connected and autonomous dc grid are developed the dc grid um, protection schemes are proposed so these are the outcomes after implementing the project uh, these are the some value additions uh, that is analysis of network pricing integration of protection scheme the new control strategies an impact of weather conditions and innovations in dc technologies if we look at the uh, another project uh, which is regional grid innovation again its objective is to address the potential of smart grid technologies to support novel integrated protection and control tool for prevention of blackouts so this is the people who are associated with dr seneroy dr swades dr indra n kar dr saikit chakrabarti dr ashok pradhan that is from iit kanpur kharagpur is from iit kharagpur again it is also of 3 years project and then after what the finding after completion of this project is a new method for identification of trip line after the fault with negligible computations protection scheme using bams data is developed to prevent the system from further collapse and avoiding blackouts kalman filter based tracking state estimator using pmu measurements to monitor power system in real time is developed 
development of algorithm for next generation state estimators using both conventional and synchronized measurements application of developed methodologies is in the design of system wide stability monitoring to avoid occurrence of system wide blackouts this is the third project uh, which is again from iit kharagpur then vnit nagpur uh, so in collaboration of all these people professors from various iits and nits the dc microgrid storage technology and energy management system so these are again their outcomes that is soft switching based dc to dc converters numerical analysis of pack bed thermal appliance thermal energy storage using quartiles at storage material and solar salt as heat transfer fluid has been conducted this is another project from iit bombay that is on and off grid management storage system microgrid architecture and behavior so these are their findings this is next project from in collaboration with iit bombay iit kanpur iit kharagpur then Am amrit bioenergy and industries limited kolkata so there are various companies and iits are come together and the topic was on grid off grid transition dc to dc microgrid mv and lv networks so here are their findings that design and detailed simulation studies of dc microgrid with medium and low voltage architecture are currently being aggressively pursued this is uh, ajmer vidyut uh, vitaran nigam limited project from ajmer so smart grid pilot in power distribution sector the objective is advanced metering infrastructure and this analytics so uh, their findings are summary for this module concept of resilience and self healing grid present development and international policies in smart grid smart cities pilot projects from the india so students after completion of this module you have to go through this assignment the questions are on your screen thank you for listening if you have any query you can write to me on sunna.hadpe@mathosri.edu.in thank you